Piper Cherokee, Nankaweep Mesa, 10-5, southbound Zuni Quarter. All right, intercepting the Zuni. Here we go. KV-73, Zuni Bravo, Black One, reverse 8-5. So almost time to wake up. Almost time to face the morning. Don't know if I want to wake up. You sure you remember how to fly? Take it, I don't know, I'm gonna need you to <laughs> keep an eye on me over here. Miles and I have been on a trip across the American High West for a little over a week now, and we're closing out this adventure with a Grand Canyon tour and a landing at the iconic Sedona Airport. Just to change it up, I'm taking the left seat on this one. I love being an instructor in the right seat, but every now and then it's fun to get in the captain's chair. In part five, Miles and I flew the Cherokee into the strip at Marble Canyon and walked over to the lodge for a hearty breakfast. We came back to Page, Arizona to fuel and load up, and we're starting our journey home via the Grand Canyon and Sedona. Welcome to part six. Traffic Cherokee 885 on November, we're going to taxi on a runway 33, we're going to make a right downwind departure southbound page. Hey, traffic Cessna 2086, Golf Cessna 180, uh, during right downwind behind the Centurion, runway 33, page. Strobe lights on, fuel pumps on, final looks clear, we got two aircraft on downwind. Mixture set, let's go. Engines in the green, airspeed's live. 70 miles an hour. We're off by the second high speed. Here's Alpha 2, there's our board point. 86 miles an hour, begin a VY climb. The flaps are already up. Page traffic, Cherokee 885, November, just departed runway 33, making a right crosswind turn. We're going to make a right downwind departure to the south via far page. Clear right. Traffic, Cherokee 859, Romeo is uh, turning base for 33, page. Final for 33, page. Alright, so first we're going to fly the Zuni Corridor southbound. Now you're in the right seat not flying, so you can actually like take pictures and enjoy it. Yeah. This is my fourth time flying over the Grand Canyon, but the first time ever in the left seat. Oh, really? <laughs> That's why I was like, you might have to fly left seat on this leg, I've never done it. Also never landed at Sedona from the left seat. And most of the traffic that you hear announcing out here are, is below us. They're all like down at 7.5, 8.5, because they're... Uh, commercial aircraft doing the tours. Yeah, special authorization. Right, they got authorization to fly that low. Piper Cherokee, Nankaweep Mesa, 10-5, southbound Zuni Quarter. All right, intercepting the Zuni. Here we go. KV-73, Zuni Bravo, Black One, reverse 8-5. Maverick 16, triple V, green one, seven five. Piper Cherokee, Gunther's Castle, 10-5, southbound Zuni Corridor. Piper Cherokee, Zuni Bravo, 10-5, southbound Zuni Corridor. Capture 20, everything, green 2, 7-5. Smooth out. Piper Cherokee, 11-2, climbing 11-5 or 10X Meadow, westbound. Chapter 12, Grandma Point, Green 2, 7, 6. Oh my god, we made it to 11.5. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. 10 minutes later. 10 minutes, no, it wasn't 10 minutes, it took us like 15. <laughs> to get from 10.5 to 11.5. <laughs> oh, oh, Cherokee, oh, Cherokee. Piper Cherokee, 11.5 northbound over the Tower of Ra, Dragon Corridor northbound. Flying over the Grand Canyon takes some special attention to the procedures, but once you know how it goes, it's super easy. There are VFR corridors snaking between the no-fly zones, and much like the hemispherical rule, you maintain a certain altitude based on your direction, so aircraft can be separated on the corridors. If you're northbound on a corridor, 11,500 or 13,500 are your altitudes. If you're southbound, 10,500 or 12,500 are your altitudes. There are helicopters and airplanes flying the corridors much lower, but these are commercial tour aircraft and they have permission 
position to fly that low. In our case, we're flying the Zuni Corridor at 10,500, the Dragon Corridor at 11,500, and then the Fossil Canyon Corridor at 10,500, and departing the area towards Sedona. Piper Cherokee 11,500, descending 10,500, exiting the north end of the Dragon Corridor, heading over to Fossil Canyon. Seventy-three, Chinook Meadow, Black One, eight, five. Piper Cherokee, 10-5, Red Rock, uh, sorry, Bed Rock Canyon, southbound. Count three, Dragon's Head, Words are hard. Seven, six. Piper Cherokee, 10-5, southbound, exiting the Fossil Canyon corridor, departing the area to the south. Sedona traffic, Cherokee 885, November Piper Cherokee, about 10 miles to the northwest of the field, descending out of 7,500, we're going to cross over midfield, left downwind 2-1, full stop, Sedona. Yeah, scenery is so awesome out here, it's just like these, these like crazy outcroppings of rock. Alright, rotating beacon on, I'm going to turn the landing light on. Sedona traffic, Cherokee 885, November, two miles to the west of the field, going to cross over, left traffic, 2-1, full stop, Sedona. Sedona Airport, automated weather observation, 2-2-3-7, two, two, Zulu weather, wind, 1-9-0, at 3, visibility, 1-0, clear, below. It's like calm now. Yeah. Sedona traffic, Cherokee 885, November, left downwind runway, 2-1, it's going to be a full stop, Sedona. Alright, uh, pre-landing. Yes, please. Brakes, pedal test. Landing. Good pressure. Landing light. It's on. Autopilot. It's off. Seatbelt harnesses. Trapped in. Thanks to your best power. We're going to roll it in to not quite full rich. Car right. Carb heat. Carb heat. Sounds good. We're going to keep it off. You'll pump on. You'll pump on. You'll pump tank. Well, on the right tank. And flaps is required. Okay, we'll start getting some flaps in. Probably about when we turn final. We're gonna, I'm going to turn right about when we're over these rocks here. We're just going to come in nice and high, just to, just in case that wind decides to be a little goofy with us. Alright. Sedona traffic, Cherokee 8859 November, turning left base, runway 21, full stop, Sedona. Everything good? Yep. Just gave me the 500 AGL warning because we got over those rocks. Sedona traffic, Cherokee 885, November turning final, runway 21, full stop, Sedona. They've got a few wind socks out here. So we'll just kind of keep an eye out for those. First notch of flaps. Coming right over the terrain here. Go second notch flaps. That's okay, that's kind of what I wanted. And just let the speed bleed off. There, the speed's coming down. Everybody, Everybody that I've always talked to about coming into here, they're always like, you know, just carry, it's a long runway, just carry extra speed. Right. Because I've, I've heard and seen of, seen some people heard of and seen some people get some pretty crazy downdrafts and they just, you know, they have to just juice it and go around because they're about to stall. Right. So down to traffic, Cherokee 885, November, clear, runway 21, we're going to taxi back to the end. Alright, after landing flaps up. Flaps are up. Carpet off. Carpet's off. Fuel pump off. Fuel pump off. Strobes off, landing light off. 
Landing light, we'll turn off the rotating. Actually, we'll turn off the strobes, yeah. We did make this landing a full stop, but we're not gonna stay here. I can't pass through this area and not land at this awesome airport, but we wanna get a bit closer to home so we can make the entire trip home the next day. So we taxied back to the end of the runway and departed Sedona, bound for Winslow, Arizona for the night, where we'll conclude this high west trip. Winslow traffic, Cherokee 8859, November 7,000 feet over the crater. We're inbound for a full stop. We're probably gonna take the runway 29 or Winslow. Zero Niner Zulu, wind two five zero at one six. Visibility wind two fifty at one six. So we'll, we'll we will take two Niner. Pre landing brake pedal test. Good pressure. Landing light on on autopilot off. Autopilot's off. Seats belts harnesses. We're strapped in. Extra best power set for best power. We're gonna go full wrench on this one. Car beat as wreck. Dusted. We're gonna keep it off. Fuel pump on. Fuel pump on. Fuel proper tank. We're on the right tank and we're gonna leave it. Flaps as wreck. All right, we'll start adding them once we're a beam. Pre-landing checklist complete. All right. Winslow traffic, Cherokee 885 November, left downwind 2 niner. We'll stop, Winslow. Winslow traffic, Cherokee 885 November, turning uh, base to final, runway 2 niner. Full stop, Winslow. I like I like couldn't tell if it was like trying to fly again or <laughs> it's like okay with aerodynamic braking I don't know what's going on <laughs> just don't try this at home kids <laughs> Winslow traffic check eight eight five nine November clear runway two nine Winslow. You don't need an extraordinary airplane to go on an extraordinary adventure. We put together a plan for this trip around the canyons of the Southwest trip with the finer points. And from there, we expanded our plan to making a huge loop around the American High West. Our plan changed from day to day, and eventually we had to scrub all of the plans in Montana and Wyoming due to weather and time constraints. And despite our audio recording problem during the first four days of the trip, we still managed to share some of the big highlights of this trip with you. The rest of the trip home is just straight and level flying at high cruise so there's not too much sightseeing or technical flying beyond this point. I do absolutely plan to head back out this way by airplane at a later time when I do have more time to spend at the various places that we stopped. We were facing a time constraint on this trip, so stopping and spending a day at every location just wasn't feasible, but I will be back. I appreciate you tuning in to this series, and like always, I'm looking for feedback on what could have been better and what you would like to see in future videos. In next week's video, a very well-missed member of Aviation 101 Productions is going to make a comeback, and I know that that I, along with many of you, are ready for this. Be sure to like the video if you did, and subscribe if you haven't, and if you'd like to support the channel, you can shop merch and gear at aviation101.com store and gain access to exclusive content at aviation101.com slash cockpit club. Until next time, I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay current, and of course, stay proficient. Get out and go plan that trip you've been wanting to take, even if you don't have a fancy airplane or even an airplane at all. Grab a friend, spouse, your dog, you name it, and go out and enjoy your time on this earth. Fly safe.